According to the findings of the report called Namibian Political Finance, an unresolved regulatory question, it shows that Namibian political parties are not doing enough to be transparent and accountable to the electorate, and that the electorate authorities, primarily the Electoral Commission of Namibia and Parliament, are not fully exercising their regulatory and enforcement powers to ensure that the use of public funds is effectively safeguarded and accounted for. As it is election year, it's also the one year, I think, where we feel the economic recession the most. Um, so now when you see all these activities by political parties, the question that bears, um, where do they get their money from? How do they source their funds? And how do they spend it? Um, so then this builds into the purpose of party funding in Namibia. It's important that we know um, how do parties spend their money because at the end of the day, the purpose of Party funding is for the parties to be able to do the activities that they promise to be doing. And most of the time in the Namibian context, as Ndapo said, this is money that they get from the state. So it's taxpayers' money um, that we need to know how they actually spend this money. Um, and then also in terms of key observations, a key observation from this paper is that um, a well-funded party is likely to do very well in an election year and a well-funded uh, uh, candidate is equally likely to do better compared to a poorly funded one. Access to information becomes very important and one thing we're stressing in this paper is the need to pass an access to information bill because uh, when we were engaging uh, some of the political parties they just didn't want to share. Um, but then ideally they should be in a position where they should share this information but if the bill to access to information was you know, tabled and passed, um, issues of transparency and accountability, it, it, it will sort of be then mandatory for them to share this information with us, especially if they sit in parliament because this is public information, right? Frederico Links, IPPR Research Associate, further stressed that the importance of educating the ordinary Namibian on how public money is spent, noting that it is their right to control and make decisions on how state money gets used. And we're having another election and we haven't dealt with the the very thorny issue of political finance and, and, and appropriately regulating this. Um, and now some parties might actually uh, disappear after this election and we don't actually know what uh, their situation was financially. I mean the Workers Revolutionary Party and what's been happening there isn't exactly, um, hasn't exactly been resolved to date. There's no proactivity in actually making audited financial statements available, but they claim that at the party meetings and the annual the congresses and so forth, that they actually do um, uh, make this information available to to their members. Um, I mean, it's it's a questionable claim. There is also no proactive um, um, uh, release of this sort of information. Um, so the law says that, I mean, your audited financial statements have to be annually um, uh, sort of uh, advertised in two daily newspapers. Um, Links further emphasize that this is not the first time the IPPR explored this type of research, stating that some of the observations showed under-regulation seems to dominate the political party's financial environment and there is a need for stronger institutional regulators and oversight. Thank you.